Good morrow, my name is Nurchen, and this abhorrent cur is... is... the Black Shark. It's the 15th century in Europe, and you're walking home late one night when you pass down an alleyway. You hear a howl and it turns your blood cold, and you turn to see it. With eyes like fire and the body of a hound, it's Black Shuck, and it brings an omen of death. Today we have a look at ye olde English icon that is Black Shuck, or Old Shuck, or just Shuck, maybe even Little Shuck. There's a bit of work to be done separating fantasy from reality as we break it down into what is it, the Suffolk sightings, phantom or physical, its existence and how it worked, and where to find one. Alright chaps, let's get to it. Black Shuck is the name of a large black dog said to lurk the countrysides of East Anglia. Descriptions of it vary from the size of a large dog to the size of a horse. It has black shaggy fur and eyes that glow like fire. Its eyes glow red, or sometimes green, and depending on the story, it has two eyes large like saucers, or one large eye in the centre like a cyclops. It's starting to just sound like a large dog on its way to a 3D movie. Or maybe it's a pirate. But the powers of Shuck are a little bit more supernatural than that. Apparently its howl will chill you to the bone, but the pads on its feet won't make a sound. Figuratively speaking, lots of dogs can do this. Also, Shuck is an omen of death, and you will die within a year if you look into its eyes. Okay, I don't think most dogs can do that. It's hard to pin down if this creature has any ill intent. Like a black cat crossing your path that doesn't mean you any harm. There are even stories of it as a guardian, where it protects vulnerable people or guides people home. There are, as always, stories of people being attacked, but who knows? Maybe they're attacked because they're up to no good. That's right, I'm on Team Shuck. Woo! There have been reported sightings of Black Shuck for hundreds of years, but it really earned its infamy on the 4th of August, 1577. The Holy Trinity Church of Blythborough is packed with people weathering a rough storm when a ka -chow! A crash of lightning and thunder as Black Shuck smashes through the doors. It runs the length of a church, killing a man and a child, and then it runs out, causing a steeple to crash through the ceiling. This then apparently happened at another church, St. Mary's Church in Bungay, about 20 kilometers away, on the same day, in the same storm. This time, it crashed through the door, ran around, killed two more people, and then ran out. It wasn't eating these people either, apparently it was just grabbing their necks and twisting backwards. And this happened in a church. Don't think that crucifix is gonna save you. Scorch marks were left on the doors and floors, and they're referred to by the people as the devil's fingerprints. Something like this could have happened, and there were many witnesses to back up these stories. But these were some god-bothering times, and people walked around with spoonfuls of superstition. I'd take these testimonies with a grain of salt. Or a lot of salt, depending on how exaggerated the story is. And there's still marks in those churches today as evidence, but we'll discuss the credibility of these stories later. The name Shock. Black Shock. The name derives from the Old English word Shucker, which means devil or fiend. But was it a fiend, phantom, or just a physical creature? There are a lot of links between Shuck and the afterlife, such as the omen of death, and the alleyways where it's commonly seen are said to be a link to the afterlife. While apparently ghostly in appearance, I think Black Shuck is getting tied in with the other black and ghost dogs of Europe, such as the Bar Guest or the Hounds of the Wild Hunt. In 1902, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle wrote The Hound of the Baskervilles, a Sherlock Holmes mystery. While Conan Doyle never cited Black Shuck as a reference, some of the audience drew parallels between the story and the cryptid, thus cementing it further as an English icon. The Hound of the Baskervilles was revealed to be a mastiff painted with phosphorus, but this story may have also developed the idea of Shuck being a ghost. Its omen is vague and spooky, but nothing from its sightings suggests anything phantasmal. Its existence and how it worked. Don't you mean possible existence? Not this time. I think there's a good chance that this good boy was real. As I said, I think all its supernatural powers are due to being grouped with other ghost dogs. On the 16th of May 2014, the remains of a giant dog were found in the ruins of the Leyston Abbey in Suffolk. Judging by the size of its bones, this thing would have weighed over 90 kilos and could have stood over 2 meters tall on its hind legs. With modern dating techniques, it's estimated this dog would have lived around the same time Black Shuck was seen in 1577. But what about the massacre at the churches? It's not unlikely that a large crash of lightning could have scared a large dog into a church while it's seeking shelter. Maybe it freaked out when people started screaming and it attacked a few people in its attempt to escape. 
And if the lightning struck nearby, or even the church itself, it would explain the steeple falling in and maybe the scorched fingerprints. So it may have just been a large dog that burst through the doors on that fateful day, but what about its superpowers? Well, back in those superstitious days, people didn't have the longest life expectancy. If somebody genuinely believed they met the eyes of Black Shuck, then fear, paranoia and grief could definitely cause the premature death of a believer. In a way, Black Shuck really was causing the premature death of its witnesses. But what about the eyes? I have special eyes. Well, that's a simple formula. Take a dog, add some darkness, and multiply that by some ye olde superstition, and you've got yourself a demon dog from hell. And we've seen this before. Many species with glowing eyes, because at night, light shines off a thin surface in between the optic nerve and the retina called the tapetum lucidum. These eyes can glow a range of colours, commonly red or green. While editing over this, I realised I never addressed the one eye thing. Maybe the dog had an injured eye, maybe it was just superstition fill in the blanks. Or maybe it was a mythical creature with just one eye. Yeah. Speaking of glowing eyes, there's another theory that rumours of Black Shuck were fuelled by alien big cats. Yep, another default theory that's always just after alien or ghost, but that's a story for another time. Most of these sightings are just considered to be good or bad omens, and they aren't nearly as extreme as the church massacre of its origin, which kind of just leads me to believe people are just seeing large stray dogs. But you never know. If you have your own sightings or your preferred theories, I'd love to read them in the comments or hear them over Twitter. Now, I'm quite a dog person, and I'd love a good boy of my own. Lucky for you. I happen to know a man who appears to be unkillable, and has never let the fear of death get in between him and a good hunt. I am, of course, talking about Wendell Elmwood. Over to you, Wendell. Thank you, Nurchin, and hail and well met, my fellow crypto enthusiasts. Today we've travelled to the county of Suffolk in England in the search of the Black Shark. They say that he approaches you if you're truly lost or vulnerable, so I'm gonna head in that direction and uh, we'll see how we go. They say it only approaches the most vulnerable, so I might have to get rid of the old trusty protection. This never happened. Now, if you're looking for a shuck of your own, I'm afraid I can't be of much use. You see, besides looking in England and searching alleyways and fields, if he wants to find you, it finds you, but you don't find it. Now it's getting late and I didn't even find anything. My goodness. Do not fear, Wendell, for you will not die today. You are yet to experience great suffering and misfortune before you meet your fate. Soon, my friend. Soon. Did you hear that, lads? I'm not gonna die. Score one for Wendell. That's all right. Well, I'm on my way home. Catch you later, chaps. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe and let me know about any cryptids you'd like to hear about in the future. See ya.